The truth we convey is the truth, because we say it is the truth. Is that enough? I don't believe so. My truth is better than your truth is a schoolyard squabble, not the basis of a culture. I am right, so you are wrong, is a syllogism that collapses as soon as one applies any of a number of fundamental ethical tools. I am right, ergo, you are wrong. Truth and lies. Truth and lies. Great actions have shaped our society. The greatest of these, physically, has been the Emperor's formal and complete unification of terror, the outward sequel to which this great crusade we are now engaged upon. But the greatest intellectually has been our casting off of that heavy mantle called religion. Religion damned our species for thousands of years, from the lowest superstition to the highest conclaves of spiritual faith, it drove us to madness, to war, to murder. It hung upon us like a disease, like a shackle ball. I'll tell you what religion was. Ignorance. Since the earliest times, our species has striven to understand the workings of the cosmos. And where that understanding has failed, or fallen short, we have filled in the gaps plastered over the discrepancies with blind faith. Religious faith. Belief in demons. Belief in spirits. Belief in an afterlife and all the other trappings of a preternatural existence simply existed to make us all more comfortable and content in the face of a measureless cosmos. Prayers and lucky charms to help us through the darkness. But we have witnessed the cosmos now, my friends. We have passed amongst it. We have learned and understood the fabric of reality. We have seen the stars from behind and found they have no clockwork mechanisms, no golden chariots carrying them abroad. We have realized there is no need for God or any gods, and by extension no use any longer for demons or devils or spirits. The greatest thing mankind ever did was to reinvent itself as a secular culture. But what of faith? Faith has a quality. Even when religion has gone, we still need to believe in something, don't we? Here it is. The true purpose of mankind is to bear the torch of truth aloft and shine it, even into the darkest places. To share our forensic, unforgiving, liberating understanding with the dimmest reaches of the cosmos. To emancipate those shackled in ignorance. To free ourselves and others from false gods and take our place at the apex of sentient life. That, that is what we may pour faith into. That is what we can harness our boundless faith to. These last months, we have quashed an entire culture. Make no mistake, we haven't brought them to heal or rendered them compliant. We have quashed them, broken their backs, set them to flame. I know this because I know the War Master unleashed his Astartes in this action. Don't be coy about what they do. They are killers but sanctioned. The souls we have lately conquered believed in an Imperium, the rule of man. Nevertheless, we killed their Emperor and forced them into submission. We burnt their cities and scuppered their warships. Is all we have to say in response to their why a feeble, I am right, so you are wrong? Yet we are. We are right. They are wrong. This simple, clean faith we must undertake to teach them. We are right. They are wrong. Why? 
Not because we say so. Because we know so. We will not say, I am right and you are wrong because we have bested them in combat. We must proclaim it because we know it is the responsible truth. We cannot, should not, will not promulgate that idea for any other reason than we know, without hesitation, without doubt, without prejudice, that it is the truth. And upon that truth we bestow our faith. They are wrong. Their culture was constructed upon lies. We have brought them to the keen edge of truth and enlightened them. On that basis, and that basis alone, go from here and iterate our message. <laughs> 